So this is Outlook, lesson one, the second lesson, customizing mail. Step one, it says click file, and then options, and then click advanced. In the Outlook's pane area, click navigation. Change the maximum number of visible items to five. You see right here it's four, so change that to five. Click Compact Navigation to turn this off. Click OK twice to exit the dialog boxes. Notice how the Peaks bar has text instead of icons. You see this down here. Before it had little icons. <clears throat> Click the three dots in the Peaks bar. Click Navigation Options. Click Compact Navigation to turn on this feature. It's what we just turned off. Click the Reset button. It returns the default number to 4 right here. And click OK to exit this dialog box. So mark that as answered. Go to the next one. Click File, Options and then click search. In the results area, click current mailbox right here. Tab Outlook search all mail all mailboxes instead, click all mailboxes. Mark that as answered. Go to the next one. Click general. Then click the arrow for office theme. <laughs> Duh, right there. Couldn't find it. Select white. And then click OK. Notice how the top of the screen has a white background instead of the original default color, which was blue. Click File, and then Options, and then click General. Click the arrow for Office Theme. Select Colorful, and then click OK. Mark that as answered. Go to the next one. Click File, Options, Mail. Scroll through some of the options displayed. You see all of these options. There's a bunch of them. <coughs> and then click Stationery and Fonts right here. In the New Mail Messages area, click Font right there. In the list of fonts, scroll up and select Arial. Click the arrow for font color. Dark blue. That one right there. Click OK three times. One, two, three times. At the main inbox screen on the home tab in the new group, click new email. Click in the message body area below the address and subject fields right here. Type hello. To view some text in the message, notice how the text appears in the new font and color selected previously. You can see that it's Arial, and you see this color is that dark blue. Click File, Options, and click Mail, Stationery and Fonts. In the New Mail Messages area, click Font. Change the font back to Tahoma. Tahoma. 
and the text color to automatic and then click OK to exit all these dialog boxes. Mark that as answered and submit submit four green check marks this completes customizing mail